G'day. Today I've got a small little HP 13 inch Ultrabook. This particular one's not powering up, but all I'm going to be doing on this one is cracking it open to remove the M.2 SSD out of here. So this has a model number 13-D007TU. So with this one it's relatively obvious what you need to do with it apart from two hidden screws. They're all Phillips head screws on this machine. So I'll we'll quickly just start undoing those and I will fast forward the footage. So what you probably would have noticed in that fast forwarded video is that I've been trying to pry it open with minimal luck. Turns out nearest to the hinge there is two hidden screws there. So see the oval rubber feet. Now prying here, I will show that in just a second, but I would be recommending to pry from the back, not the front like I'm doing right now, as there's two removable metal tabs that hold it into place. So as I'm prying here right now is about when I realize that there is two hidden screws and I best reveal them. There we go, with those removed, there's two extra Phillips head screws. And then from here, it's highly likely that it will actually completely separate. But to do it the correct way, you will be prying from the back of the machine nearest to the hinge to the front of the machine. Because there's, there's two silver tabs here that keep this clipped in to the top cover. Granted, it would take a fair bit to break them. I have bent it just out of the way a little bit, so I will need to realign it. Or at least use a pair of tweezers to push down on it to bend it back to the correct angle. But anyway, let's check out this machine. So on the left hand side we've got the SD card reader, PCIe Wi-Fi card, and then we've got the M.2. Overall this is a very compact machine with a quite a large battery compared to the rest of the device, which if I went by ratio of process of PCB to battery ratio, this would probably be one of the highest that I've seen. Now from here, I reckon I'll crack out, or get out, that M.2 SSD. This one isn't an NVMe drive, and all you really need to do is undo this single bracket here, with a Phillips head screwdriver, flip that off, and now both of them are accessible from there. So with this M.2 removed, I'm going to do a bit of a data dump, as this machine currently doesn't power up and doesn't look like it will be in the foreseeable future. So I'll get this data off here and go from there. And I'm going to let the rest of this video just play out. So I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.